What's up, VC? Cheers. Mm. Oh, so good. All right. Chilling out here in Tejas. I got a show tomorrow. And uh, while I was in California, I had ordered something online. And it came in today. I didn't think it was coming. I'm pretty sure this is what's, what's here. So, anyways, uh... Um, let me get a knife and open this thing. Alright. <laughs> I would show you more of the box, but I just want to open it, okay? Right here. Booyah. Oh, it is. It's Alright. Nice. Okay. So I stream a lot of my music on YouTube. And you guys are probably like, yeah, we don't give a shit. But um, I use YouTube Premium. I highly recommend it. It's a little pricey. It's like 11 or 12 bucks a month, but there's no commercials. You can close your cell phone down the screen and still play the music that you're playing. And uh, they do a great job, like most other streaming services, of once you pick something, just throw something similar to that that's already playing. So it was really weird, I was playing like Julian Priest or, or maybe John Coltrane, one of the two, and it threw this in next. And uh, I don't, I have one of these, which I'm not playing right now, I have the Deep Modern Jazz, um, Japanese Jazz Volume 3. This one doesn't have a number, so I don't, this just says J Jazz Deep Modern Jazz from Japan, 1969 to 1984. And I was listening to this a bunch. It was like three or four songs that I was just listening to every day. And, uh, so yeah, I got it. Super stoked. It's got the OB, OBI or whatever. OB strip. It's pretty cool. It's a double LP. And, uh, it's dope. Let's, let's open the rest of it here. You know... Some people were talking about on one of the live streams, Rachel's live stream, a great live stream, go check out her channel, Rachel the Music Man. And somehow the topic has been on for a couple days of drama in the vinyl community. And I've had no, thankfully I've had no drama in the vinyl community whatsoever. I think the biggest drama I've had is when me and Wax, aka Rob, we got in a free, hashtag free Britney Spears conversation very friendly conversation, but that was literally the most drama we had, and we were still vinyl community homies afterwards. Um, so, you know, I thought about it for a couple seconds, and realistically, usually people who have drama in their life, and I'm not calling anyone out, I'm saying it's you or whoever, I'm, I don't know anybody specifically in my opinion, just what I've seen in the past, even from myself in my history. Uh, in the memory, history bank, uh, history memory bank. Usually, if there's drama in your life, it's because of yourself, your cause, and somehow, you, you know, if you don't want drama, it's real simple, you just don't have any drama in your life. But if you're having drama in the vinyl community, there's a possibility, and I wouldn't be surprised if you probably have drama outside of the vinyl community, and that's just probably kind of how you roll a little bit. And again, nothing wrong with that. But you can't get mad when the drama's around you when you're kind of the creator of the drama. It's the point I'm going here. So, you know, um, Michael from 45 RPM Audio File, he said, hey, he wants, you know, if you're gonna, there's two options, thumbs up or thumbs up, thumbs down, you know, you're gonna have a positive comment or a negative comment. But he says, he kind of invites both, you know, like, he doesn't really care. And again, I think I, And so, and yeah, that's, you know what I mean? Whatever the comments are going to be, you have no control over that. That's just, when you put yourself on YouTube, that's, you know what I mean? And so if you get some negative comments, don't let that shit get to you. Come on now. Don't even reply. And, you know, if you reply, just throw them a heart sign. You know what I mean? That's the way I see it. So anyways. Got this open. This is put out by... BBE. Which it stands for something that I forgot this last time, but it's barely breaking, barely breaking even, and I love that. So it shows like the quality on these records is usually is 
is usually really good. I get when I get excited, I can't speak. You're gonna find this out if you watch a couple episodes. It's hilarious. But um, all right. So the way they do this, neither of the records are inside, which is kind of sketchy. So be careful when you get this. Both the records are in the middle. And uh, just pop one of these puppies out. I'm gonna try to keep this episode short and sweet here. Thing on the edges. Really good until I got to here and I literally am peeling vinyl off the edges, which I've had that happen on a couple records. So I don't really like that. But I'm gonna go 7.6 on the edges. Pretty smooth overall until it gets to about here and then there was some extra vinyl I had to peel off. And then it's back to normal. Okay. 7.6 on the edges. But more importantly, importantly, it's the music that is awesome. Which I know is fire. Let's check the other one real quick. Oh, that's all right. These come, sorry, three records in these box sets. But yeah, it's like almost like a box set. Even though it only holds two of them because it's a double LP, they put the, the other way they did before, they had both of them inside and they had the third one in the middle. So, three records. And, um, I should probably tell you who's on here. A bunch of people I've never heard of. Let me, let me just uh, try to pick one I can actually read right. But this says uh, Roy Chai Matsukaze Trio doing the song Earth Mother. It's a bunch of musicians I have not even heard of. Teramisu Haino meets Reggie Workman, Ode to Workman. Anyways, when I was listening to Blew Me Away, I really love this stuff. I love jazz. Japanese jazz is awesome. Um, it's, it's, like obviously, American jazz influenced Japanese jazz, I assume. So, but I love how when you start listening to more Japanese jazz, it becomes almost very distinct compared to Hey, don't be chewing on the plastic over there. <laughs> In my opinion, you, you... I can't really give words to it, but you can start to feel it, and you're like, oh, I feel like this, got probably some, this might be some Japanese jazz. If you're wrong, that's fine. Because it's all, you know, connected, and it's all influenced by one another. And then what's, I, you know, I wonder if when some of the Japanese jazz cats were doing jazz, well, I know this had to have happened. I'm sure some of the American jazz artists were like, whoa, did you hear what they're doing over there? It's awesome. And then the circle of uh, inspiring happens, which that's like the best. So anyways, stoked on this. An unboxing. Stay away from the drama. If you have drama on your channel, it's probably because of you. Hey, the cool thing about that is you can change that. Stop the drama. So anyways, stay positive. Play lots of vinyl. And uh, go check out all the other channels. There's tons of good channels on the vinyl community. If somehow you stumble across this mess... Like and subscribe if you enjoy it. And then go, just put the word Vinyl Community. That's what VC stands for. So you hear people saying, oh, VC, um, it's Vinyl Community. Just put Vinyl Community in the search, which I did finally one time. And a bunch of cool other channels came out. So I got to subscribe to a bunch of other channels that I hadn't seen yet. So anyways, that's my ramble on for today. Try to keep this short and sweet. Uh, I already said all my good stuff. Later, guys. Bye.